For this I have two sets of cards. Over here I have four jacks, and over here I have four twos. I'm going to actually alternate the cards so that every other card is a two, and every other card is a jack, one at a time, jacks and twos. So what I've got here is I've got jacks and twos alternating, but if I snap my fingers, you'll see that the twos will actually join together, just like the jacks. I'll do this again. Lay down a jack, followed by a two. We'll lay down another jack, followed by a two. Another jack, followed by a two. Last jack, last two. And you'll see that, again, all the cards alternate, jacks and twos. And if I snap my fingers, you'll see that the twos join together, just like the jacks. So I've got four cards here, and I've got four cards here. I've got the twos on the table, I've got the jacks in my hand, but now I'm going to lay down the jacks, followed by the twos like that. And this time, if I snap my fingers, you'll see that the cards, instead of separating, will actually mix together. Jack, two, jack, two, jack, two, jack, and two. Just like that. Every other card alternating. Jack, two. Jack, two. Four cards on the table. Four cards in my hand. And if I snap my fingers this time, the four cards in my hand become the four jacks. And on the table are the four twos. Let me try to be a little bit more fair here. I'm going to actually take the twos and interlace them between the jacks. Just like that. Every other card, two. Very fairly, very openly. Four cards on the table, four cards in my hand. If I snap my fingers, I now have all four of the two twos in my hand. And on the table, of course, I've got four twos as well. Never even had the jacks. And that is called Jack's Bluff.